we've come back to bottle picking heaven again just to check it out we're going to do a quick jump up to the bank and try and dig into the bank i think that might be okay just that this is actually a better view here i wonder if we should try and make it up there but anyway we'll see this looks pretty fun it's uh not as much of a sunny day today, but we'll probably do this for half an hour or something. Okay, another adventure. Let's get digging. We're with digging, or uh, what is it? Shoveling Sam. <laughs> That's an ode to Digging Dave and Shoveling Shelly on YouTube. But we've got this pretty nice area, and we're going to take inspiration from those guys and see what we can find. found a toy wheel. Maybe it's a lawnmower wheel, I don't know. But I think we'll keep it and check it's it out. Toy wheel. Put it on. Wooden box that Sam has spotted from a distance. I'm gonna try and get in there and see if I can get it out. Got a tag on it. Come check it out. General Motors. So I wonder what this was. Maybe auto parts. I think maybe we'll just keep the tag. Pretty neat little find. Too rough shape. It's Lots of history, lots of old cars. Wow. I like these little tiny old ones though. Yeah, I think that's another food coloring one or something. Keep yeah. that one. find another one of those Pete's bottles. Well, this one's different, but pretty awesome Pete's Northern Orange. Wow, that's awesome. Another Coca-Cola. I don't know how many more of these I need. Yay, a new one that I've never seen before. Team, a lemon lime drink. Pretty awesome. That one's cool. All intact. Nice. Oh, there's a typical beer bottle. Let's see what this one is. Oh, ketchup bottle. Oh no, it's starting to rain. Well, it's almost like it forms pockets of area. Oh, I see a bottle. That one out. Oh, it looks like a ketchup bottle. And it's in there good. Oh, not what I want. What is it? I found a white milky glass container with lid on my walk through this way. <laughs> okay, here's what we got. 
this is what I've got, and then Sam will show her what she got, or I'll show it. But some pretty unique things. This is the first time I've ever seen a team lemon lime drink. And it's just kind of a neat bottle. Really cool. Now this one is uh, Canada Dry. Unfortunately, there's a big crack in it that I didn't see, but sure looks old. Really unique. Happy to find this. Another Pete. And this one says Northern Orange. It doesn't have the writing on the back like from the last bind. Um, here's the, the last bind one. It's Grand Prairie, Alberta, which is pretty awesome. Right, this is the one from previous trip. So it's nice to have two. That's really cool. This Coke bottle, 1949. Dated on the bottom, 1949. Which is pretty neat. A couple more blue pieces. This one is, this is I guess, is Vix, and you can actually see the thing inside. Eyedropper. A little bit of a little creamer, probably from a restaurant. No chips. It has a little bit of writing on the bottom. Vitrified, made in England. Another glue bottle. I remember these when I was in school, except that they were plastic, but same exact shape. It's neat. This one here, lid still on it, corroded, but kind of, I like the little bottles. Some type of an insulator. There's some writing on it even. I'm not sure. It's porcelain. Another potentially silver spoon. Um, old plastic camera. Like it looks like it was maybe functioning, but it must be either a toy or something super Chinese cheap. Or I just don't know. But this is really cool, is this little car. So this car is like some type of plastic, but it's, you know, antique kind of wheels. And it's sure suited ball for, well, there's people in the window. Uh, for where we found all of this stuff with all those crushed cars and things there. So really, that was my finds. And we'll move on to... Sam's. Well, these are the finds that I found yesterday on our dig. I really like to go for the blue ones as I have a lot of them. This one is a... I'm not too sure what this one is for, but it doesn't say. I know this one's a Vix container. Some sort of a perfume cobalt container. I like this one because it has the lid on it still. There's no name on it or anything. Old canning lid. And I found this old plastic toy wheel made in Canada. Regal toys. It's pretty neat. Wish it was actually attached to a toy. It's more of this milk glass. It doesn't have a name. This one's Pond. And this one still has the lid on it, so I thought that was pretty cool. And an old spice container. I think that's pretty neat. An old spice aftershave lotion jar. That was a pretty awesome find. You can barely see the old spice unless you shine in the light. And my marble. 
I found some pretty neat things this time around. These little tiny containers. They don't have any writing on them though. But I still think they're pretty cool. And this is a Stewart's Blue Wings. This contains MRS. Well, that was a pretty neat bottle. It does have a small chip in it there, I notice. Pair of old glasses. I haven't found a Maker's Brown on them or anything. I think they're just cheap ones. And a fork. These will be tested later to see if they are silver. It's very corroded and there's quite a bit of bluing on there. And my little spoon also is very corroded and has a little bit of bluing on there. Anyways, those are my finds for this digging trip.